30 minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to get something off my chest. Last night, the President hosted a poetry event at the White House. The invitation of one of his guests has sparked a lot of anger, and let me explain why. The musician wrote a song in which he vocally supports a convicted cop killer and her escape from jail. Oh, by the way, she's still at large living in Cuba, living a good life. This musician, you know, it may not mean much to some, but I've got a serious problem with this. Before coming to Congress, I spent 37 years as a cop. I lost friends in the line of duty, and I'm not the only one. As we speak there, here right now, police officers, thousands of them are coming to Washington, D.C. to go to the Law Enforcement Memorial. Tomorrow night, those men and women will attend a candlelight vigil to honor those law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. This is the 23rd annual vigil, candlelight vigil at the National Law Enforcement Memorial. This year, it'll also include a 36-year-old father of three who was struck down this just last Tuesday night. The White House Press Secretary said that the President opposes the lyrics in question, but they do not represent the sum total of the artist's work. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure I don't care. It's not the point. The point is that you've got thousands of men and women in law enforcement that put their lives on the line every day for this great nation, just like our troops. And the President invited to the White House who supports and glorifies a convicted killer of a police officer, a man who volunteered to protect his community. He was a husband and a father. And the loss was not only to that community, but to America. Our law enforcement officers are the first line of defense for America. Mr. President, can you not see what this means to the people who put their lives on the line every day? It's a slap in the face, some total or not. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back his time. Does the gentleman have a motion? I have a motion.